Hey there. In today's video, we're going to be tackling one of the most common challenges facing digital photographers, and that challenge is image noise. Now, if you've ever shot in low light or cranked up your ISO, you've probably encountered noise in your images. In the Canon R5, we've got a couple powerful solutions to reduce noise built right into the camera. Specifically, neural network noise reduction and high ISO speed noise reduction. So stay tuned and I'll show you step by step how to apply these noise reduction tools in the Canon R5 Mark II. And I'll also show you some sample photos and we'll compare them to see which one of them gets the best results. Let's get started. Okay, so first up we have the high ISO speed noise reduction tool. This feature has been in the Canon camera lineup for quite a few years now. It's accessible in the camera shooting menu and it can be applied to both JPEG and RAW files in camera. This feature reduces noise in real time as you're shooting photos. And inside the menu you can choose low, standard, or high for the different levels of noise reduction. Unlike the neural network noise reduction, this process uses traditional signal processing and it's not AI. So here's some of the pros and cons of high ISO speed noise reduction. The best use of high ISO noise reduction is for fast paced shooting where you need shareable images immediately or for use during low volume events, travel or casual photography. It's important to note that this feature has less detail preservation, especially at high ISOs, and it does not save an original RAW or JPEG file. So to set this up, we'll go to the red menu and navigate to the fourth tab. Then scroll down to High ISO Speed Noise Reduction. Choose this option by pressing the Set button and then scroll down to choose the level of noise reduction needed for your particular scene. Then hit the Set button again to confirm your choice. Now, when you take photos with the camera, it'll automatically apply that level of noise reduction to each of your photos as you take them. So with this method, it's a good idea to check your photos before you take too many because the high setting can take a lot of detail out of it. So you want to review your photos to make sure that you're getting what you want. So I recommend you take a few test shots, look them over, make sure they have enough details and they're what you're looking for. Okay, now let's talk about the standout noise reduction AI feature in the Canon R5 Mark II, Neural Network Noise Reduction. This feature is available for raw images and it's found under the playback raw image processing tab and it's marked by the noise reduction icon. Okay, so stick around because I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to use this feature here in a moment. With neural network noise reduction, you get three levels of noise reduction, low, standard, and high. Canon claims there's up to two stops of noise reduction at the high setting, offering impressive results. This neural network noise reduction AI feature leverages deep learning trained on extensive image data to intelligently reduce ISO noise in RAW files, improving low light image quality while preserving fine details. So here's the pros and cons of neural network noise reduction. The pros are it uses AI deep learning to preserve more image details than traditional methods. It also saves the original RAW file in case you need it later. The cons are it's only available to process RAW images and not JPEGs and it takes more time than external noise reduction methods. However, it's the most accurate because it's tailored internally with the camera. Okay, so here's the step-by-step -step guide for using neural network noise reduction. Let's process a raw photo using this AI feature. Okay, so first figure out what photo you want to remove the noise from. Press the image review button and navigate to the photo. Then press the menu button to navigate to the blue menu and go to tab two. Choose raw image processing. Then choose select images. The image you chose should show up here since we already had it visible in the image preview section. Now press the set button to select the image and you'll see a check mark appear right here. Now notice on the bottom of the screen an icon showing Q and OK appears. Press the Q button and when this next screen pops up, choose Setup Processing for JPEG or HEAF, whichever one you prefer. We're going to choose JPEG. Now on this next screen on the right, you'll notice a number of adjustment options available. We're going to stay on topic and scroll over to the Noise Reduction tab. Press the set button to enter into the noise reduction options and choose the level of noise reduction you want. In this case, we'll go with standard. Okay, for neural network noise reduction, do not press the set button yet. On the right, you'll see two icons for neural network noise reduction. To activate this neural network noise reduction AI feature, we have to select the top icon to turn it on. Now at this point, you may have to use the front scroll wheel and back scroll wheel to maneuver through these icons. 
Okay, once it's highlighted, you can see there's an option to turn neural network noise reduction on. So let's do that now. Highlight it and press the set button. Once you've pressed set, it'll return to the adjustment screen where you'll scroll down to save and press the set button to save the results. And now it'll apply the adjustments made to create a new file. Now when this next screen appears asking if you want to continue image processing, just select no unless you have additional images you wish to process. Then it'll ask you which image you'd like the camera to display. I like to see the processed image to see how it turned out. So if you don't like the results, you can process the original raw photo again with a different noise reduction level, since we've told the camera to save our original raw image. And there it is, that's how you apply the neural network noise reduction to a raw photo inside your Canon R5 Mark II. So just as a side note, you can also process multiple photos at the same time. Here we'll select multiple images we shot in the same lighting conditions. Select them and take them through the same step-by-step -step process we just talked about. Okay, so how does this work on birds? Let's try this out in the backyard where we have some goldfinches feeding on the thistle bag we have hanging for them in the tree. On their approach, they land on this branch directly below the feeder. So I took some sample images for comparison. This was a low light scenario with the photos taken with an F4 prime lens. And we'll try some denoising techniques on the images we take. Here's an image taken at ISO 800 and processed in camera with neural network noise reduction. This noise reduction feature cleaned the photo up nicely. Here's another image taken at ISO 1000. The neural network noise reduction cleaned this one up great as well. Realistically, I would just use Adobe Camera Raw AI noise reduction on these bird photos since the noise is very minor. So which noise reduction tool should you use? Use the neural network noise reduction feature if you want results immediately in the field, or if you want the best results when denoising the photo. This type of noise reduction uses deep learning AI to make sure you get the most sharpness out of your photo while reducing the noise. Use the high ISO speed noise reduction option for speed and convenience and to remove noise as you take the photos. But like I said before, take a few test shots and make sure it's not softening your photos too much. And for ultimate quality and fine detail adjustments for your final images, consider using quality post-processing programs like Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw as a final step in your post-processing workflow. So noise is a fact of life in digital photography, but with the Canon R5-2's new AI technology, coupled with powerful post-processing programs like Adobe Lightroom or Camera Raw, it's easier than ever to tackle it head-on and deliver sharp, stunning images. I hope this presentation helped you in some way, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit like and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.